Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the hard disk or upgrade the hard disk in an HP 250G6 laptop, otherwise known as a 1WY97EA, and then a hash or a pound sign, ABU. So the first thing you need to do is take out the battery, so use the little clips to unclip it and slide the battery out, then unscrew the screw in the middle which holds the DVD or CD writer in and slide the CD writer out. The remainder of the screws which you can see around the case, so there's two which are covered by where the battery would be otherwise if the battery was in, and then there are uh, several all the way around the case that you can see. They are all the same size so you don't need to worry about mixing these up, you can just put them in the same pile. So there's uh, the two up near the battery, there's uh, the two uh, just either side of the laptop uh, just where the d uh, CD drive ends and then there's one at the front of the laptop. Then there are some hidden ones uh, which you'll see in a moment. So get something thin like a I think a spudger or a flat bladed screwdriver and you need to lift up the corner of the uh, spongy feet or the rubbery feet which are on the underside of the laptop you only need to lift up just the very corner of it and you'll see the or the very edge of it or end of it and you'll see the screw which is underneath it and the, that's the same on all of those rubber feet on the underside of the laptop Uh, while I'm waiting for me to undo these. Uh, it would be very helpful to me if this video has been helpful to you if you wouldn't mind subscribing. You don't need to have notifications switched on for the videos, I don't really mind about that, but YouTube seems to be measuring channels on the number of subscribers, so any subscribers or extra subscribers would be really helpful if uh, if you don't mind. So that's all of the screws undone. I now flip the machine over and get something thin that won't scratch the plastic. So again, a spudger which you trust isn't going to scratch plastic, or in my case I used a small uh, credit card uh, kind of sized bit of plastic. Slip it between the front and the palm rest and run along unclipping the little plastic clips which are underneath it. and then on the right hand edge of the laptop try and get around the corner and then unclip all the way along that side along where the DVD drive would be. There's again small plastic clips, be careful not to kind of stress them and uh, break them uh, but they can be unclipped just by using a, a bit of plastic card or, or a spudger and then once you've got almost up to where the, the hinge is at the back right hand side of the laptop close it and flip it over and starting from the side where the CD drive is and hinging it up that way so lifting it up from the CD drive side going towards where the VGA side is on the other side um, you basically just need to lift the case off And the reason you have to start the DVD drive side is because of the VGA connection on the other side uh, and the plastic around the case goes around the VGA connection and if you tried to start lifting it off on the other side it would get trapped around the, the VGA connector. And be patient with this, it, it does take a while to keep kind of working at it and undoing all the remaining clips. If you just kind of yank on it and force it you're quite likely to break some of the plastic clips so just uh, 
keep at it and eventually it will come free and there you go that's the motherboard so you can get to the RAM uh, the Wi-Fi card and the hard disk so the hard disk is held in by one screw that screw is a unique screw and will only fit where that that is so make sure you keep that separate slightly lift the hard disk up and then slide it in my case towards the camera and there we go there are two screws holding in the metal bracket on the hard disk so again th these ones are again different so make sure that you know which ones go where unscrew those two screws and put your old hard disk to one side and get your new SSD or bigger hard disk or whatever it is you're upgrading to and screw the bracket back on to that new drive And then slide the drive back into place then it sits back down on a pin a little pin which goes up next to where the screw goes in and then put the screw the little silver small screw back in and then much easier to put back together the re reverse of what you did when you took it apart hinge it back on from the VGA side push it down to make sure that all the clips that you can easily clip down from that side are, are done and flip the machine over and open it up again and pinch along the edges of the laptop to put any of the remaining clips back down And again the reverse with the screws. So do up all of these screws which aren't underneath the little plastic or rubber feet. and the DVD drive back in and the center screw which goes and holds that one in now it's the ones which go under the rubber feet so again just gently lift the corner or the end of each rubber foot up and drop in the screws and screw them in and then push the rubber foot back down to press it and glue it back into place and once again if this video has been useful it would be really helpful to me if you could subscribe Thank you very much. So with all the screws done up, put the battery back in and make sure that you press the clip to clip it back in. Plug the machine in 
and switch it on. And in my case, I need to put it into legacy mode to install the operating system that I wanted to install. Um, probably in your case, if you've either cloned your drive or are using a sensible operating system, you won't need to change any of the settings. You just boot straight off of it and off you go. And there we have it. And you've replaced the hard disk and off you go. Good luck.